What techniques have I taught you this year? So here we have an image of Will Smith. We know that if we use the magnetic lasso, that it clings to uh, high contrast edges. And what we can do is very quickly go around. And when we seal it up, press Control C. And then we can press Control V to paste it into a new image. I know if I press Control Alt Zero, it brings us to 100%. I remember that if we go to Filter, and then liquify, we can do lots of fun things, including making aspects smaller or larger, for instance. Um, I know that if we use the forward warp tool and we zoom in, I can change the size of the brush and have lots of fun that way. Now, what I also remember is that if I do something to an image and I don't like it, if I press Control alt z I'll go backwards. I know that in the Layers palette, if I'm selected on this layer like I am Will Smith, that's the only image or aspect of the layer that's going to be modified. And if I go to Filter and Show All Menu Items, that there are lots of filters that we can apply to images, including um, stencil, cutout, I know that there's watercolor, and I know if I go through each one, I can find some pretty cool images. Again, if I press OK, I can undo that. I know that if I go to Image, and then Adjustments, and then Threshold, I can apply a threshold to an image. And remember, we got to sort of play around with it so we find something that looks good. I'm going to press OK. And then in our Layers palette, right here, if I go click on Normal, I can change it to dissolve, darken, and there are lots of fun blending modes that we can go through and sort of check out, but a lot of it requires um, experimentation. I'm going to return to normal and press Control Alt Z to go all the way back to the original image. And here I press Control V again and I can do something like this. I know that if I change the opacity, I can see through an image to make it uh, transparent, to make him look like a ghost a little bit. And I'm looking at this, I know that the magic wand selects an area. So if I'm on this area and I wanted to change or add some color rather to this, I'm going to go to the paintbrush and press Control D. If I want to add a paintbrush right here, I can go down here and I can change the color real quick. And that looks crazy, so what I'm going to do is press Control Z. I also remember that if I want to change the color of an image, I got to first click on the layer and then press Control U. And so I'm going to change this red to a nice sort of like aqua teal covered. I know that if I use the move tool, I can select an object and I'm going to move it down and I'm going to then switch to the text tool. I'm going to click and I'm going to wait a moment and I'm going to write Will Smith and it's hard to see because it's blue on teal, but if I change it to white and then highlight everything, I can change it to the font size from 8 to it's not right. There we go. Two more aspects. I remember that it's really crucial to add some flair to our text by going layer, layer style, and we can do um, stroke. The default, of course, is red. If we wanted to change it to something else, if we wanted to change it to yellow or purple, we could do that, and we could change the size of the stroke by going up here, the standard is 3, so I'm going to leave it right there. If I wanted to change what the text looks like, I'm going to click on this box right here. I'm going to change the style, and we'll do, we'll do arc. I like arc. And then I'm going to move it down, and I can change it so it's a little bit more bendy. And I'm going to move Will Smith up. And these are the techniques we're going to use to create some really cool posters.